Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. This one is everything they missed in Ha Ha Land, or what they could have added, or what they should have added, or whatever the heck I'm going to title this video. I'll title it something along those lines. Uh, you'll see the title. But yeah, this is basically everything they missed in the Ha Ha Land episode, or everything they basically anything that would have been uh, I, uh, could have been added. Now, obviously, I've not got every little tiny detail. These are just the things that stick out, really. In terms of characters and stuff. Because if I want to really be picky. I could pick like a bunch of characters that are in the background. But I'm picking like characters and, and buildings. And, and, and decorations that actually we see. And they're very visible. And they're, they're not like hard to see at all. So um, yeah let's get into it. So the first thing is characters. So there's only three characters I think that they kind of missed. And to be honest out of those three characters. There's only really one that I would even possibly consider and even that character uh and that's the chemical engineer and even the chemical engineer i don't think is that substantial as a character so uh really i don't think they really missed any necessary characters unlike uh the great fatsby which i think really missed a lot of characters it should have added like i think it should have added most of the people involved in that um pope francis i guess is a possibility of course he is a real life person but they could always add him in the game i guess i don't know if there's a way around that and of course al gore was played a few a kind of a little bit of a part of this episode uh he was just in his skit obviously but al gore of course um is the former vice president so it's possible to add him in I, i'm not sure if they're allowed to i'm not again i'm not sure but if family guy quest for stuff do i and future armor was tomorrow do i don't understand why tap out can't do it so uh, al gore and pope francis i guess are possibilities but the real one is at the end the chemical engineer but he really doesn't he doesn't have a name and he didn't really play that massive the big of a part he was just the guy who uh, got bought into chemistry so he's not that important but uh still it would have been cool to get him and then we have npcs uh i say npcs i guess they could be playable as well but i've just called them npcs first of all we have the stem bouncer he was just a bouncer who told will uh told otto that it wasn't about it wasn't a weed conference uh, we have this little meth pig i think this would be a kind of cool little thing to have um basically this is cletus's pet pig who obviously helps him um make meth uh with the crazy cat ladies cats they actually talked in this episode so that's why i threw them in there uh we haven't obviously got her actual cats i think you can see them in an animation but uh it would be kind of cool just to get a bunch of cats that kind of you know her cats maybe then like uh as npcs and then when she does her task then they're involved in her task that would be kind of cool i like it when they involve npcs and in tasks because it actually gives them a purpose and then we have a uh, crusty and mr teeny's x ex x's uh with just this was literally just in the background but i thought it was really funny so i had to include include these two yeah that, that was really funny basically yeah <laughs> it's mr mr uh one of crusty's exes i'm presuming anyway and one of mr teeny's exes so that was pretty cool so they're the npcs and the characters um then we have costumes first of all i think the only costume that was really kind of missed was this one and it's not that interesting but they could have used it to do some pretty interesting stuff so basically this is uh his um chemistry or chemistry bot they could have called it uh and then this one is ke chemistry terry and sherry that one isn't too interesting but this one really is uh of course bot could do a few tasks with that there could be definitely a few tasks uh you know included with with uh some animations and stuff included with this costume so it would have been an interesting costume they could have added but i know they kind of focused the uh episode tie in on the whole lisa storyline because the bart storyline was obviously a side story but uh yeah would have been cool maybe to have this costume terry and sherry uh, uh chemistry to sherry and terry that was only briefly i just sort of threw it in there because i thought it was kind of funny how they have witch hats on uh and then i guess you could include lisa's little dress here nelson's kind of smart attire and i guess maybe cello or whatever cello martin if you want uh uh, so there's kind of just free costumes there. Just kind of hi I'm just highlighting. They're not really interesting at all. Like I, I wouldn't want one of these to be added in the game. But I just thought I'd throw it in there just to kind of show you. Uh, but this costume I I I, I would consider because it's kind of cool. Um, buildings. I guess this you could count this as a building or you could count it as a decoration. I'm just counting it as a building because there was no other buildings. Um, so uh, this is SS told you so, told you so. So this is basically an arc that's under construction. Uh, obviously this is with Al Gore. Uh, his kind of boat because <laughs> he's really it's kind of a, a joke he's hoping he's hoping that <laughs> the world does flood um so yeah that would be a kind of funny little uh it could be a funny little thing to add in the game uh as a building because they're running a lot on buildings anyway so i think they could make this into a building uh, and plus if the world does flood technically it's probably the best bet it's the best it's the closest thing to a building <laughs> if the world does flood Anyway, and then we have a building skin or a decoration skin. I'm pretty sure the treehouse technically is a decoration. So this is a skin for this. And uh, this is like the... Oh, 
crystallide crystal crystallide treehouse or something like that you could call it or i know chemistry cre uh, treehouse basically uh, bart turns the treehouse into this I, and i think it would be cool if you could have like a, a skin to turn it into this really really awesome uh, so that, that would be a, that would have been a cool skin to add have in the game, and then there's just a bunch of decorations. So like I'm just gonna go through these. So first of all, this is chemistry kiosk, um, and most of these are kiosks inside the uh, uh, STEM lab. But first of all, we have this chemistry kiosk. This is the one with the and the chemistry engineer, this guy over here, uh, the chemical engineer. So that would be kind of cool. We have the Stranger Things prediction thing. So this was like a predictions for the TV show Stranger Things. So that was kind of funny. Uh, principal soup. Uh, we have the sheep, uh, shepherdless sheep, which is kind of funny. They're eating their own fur. Uh, the first self-aware robot, which um, we've actually got that robot in the game, but the store would have been kind of funny to have. Uh, we have Insta Grandma. That, that's kind of funny. Maybe a cool one we could have had it. Have added uh, VR technology nobody wants. <laughs> so true. Uh, assisted suicide, which is kind of funny. And then there's a few in the background here. Meth Amateur, which is Cletus. Uh, DNA Slide, which is kind of funny. It's a big slide with a DNA strand. Uh, we have the Solar Fracking. The Math of Itchy and Scratchy. Dr. Nix, three minutes, three minutes sex change. Just a, a bunch of funny little uh, kiosks there. Uh, here we have a boxing one. Uh, we have a alcohol kind of thing with no... I don't know what this is actually called because Frink's in the way, but... I'm not sure actually, but one with uh, Mo, and then we have a database here, the science of Wonder Woman, which is kind of funny. And then here we have nuclear power, uh, now completely safe <laughs> with Mr. Burns. Really, really cool, <laughs> uh, funny little uh, kiosks. So all these kiosks, I would actually really like. It would be kind of cool if we saw these and they actually included them in the game. I know they're not that amazing, but once they run out of buildings, this kind of stuff is probably the alternative because uh, I I'm telling you, the first thing Tap Tap will run out of is buildings, um, and then they'll have to turn to this kind of stuff. Uh, and then next up we have the Krusty Burger van, which is kind of funny as a, just a van that was in the background. Uh, so it's Krusty Burger. We haven't got something like that before. I just think that something like this would be really, really awesome. Even if they just kind of threw it in the store uh, in this episode tie-in, like as cash, like and they made it like permanently into the game. I would really respect that because something like this is actually really cool uh, and definitely something I would actually like in Tap Tap. Uh, we have Pope Francis's car. Uh, it's Pope Mobile, if you want, <laughs> uh, which is kind of funny. Then we have this kind of wreckage on the thing, you know, cooked city books and clown makeup and all this. Uh, it's kind of wreckage. They could just make this into like one big decoration. That would be kind of cool. Uh, we have the faculty punch. Uh, it's just a table with a bunch of punch. And Willie obviously puts uh, whatever the heck that is inside of it. Uh, would be kind of cool just to get this. I just kind of threw it on there because it was kind of funny when Willie spiked it. Uh, and then, uh, last but not least, just some more decoration, even more decorations. Uh, we've got uh, Bart's kind of chemistry table thing there with his kind of equipment. Uh, we have pesticide, the pest, Willie's pesticide tractor. I guess this could actually be a decoration for his tractor that's already in the game. That would be kind of funny actually. Uh, to make it a decoration for his tractor but obviously uh, they or they could just add like a brand new tractor in with the pesticide thing on the back maybe willie's got two tractors one with the pesticide on the back so that's kind of funny and then finally i just sort of threw this one in uh it's um i forgot this character's name already but this guy's piano uh and lisa's little symbol thing there with her uh, uh well her symbol thing like they could add these the main reason i, I want them to add this piano is because the top like the, the things on top the couch gag props used i really like that that's a really funny so if they were to add this piano with the stool the tires and the couch gag gogs gag props were used i would actually really like that uh, in the game i think it would be pretty funny to have uh, so I, I added that in there just because i think that would have been really really cool but that's it in terms of everything they could have added and they missed everything they missed and all that uh, so not loads nothing like that's too substantial nothing that's really too i'm too concerned about to be fair like the only reason i even first did this video was because of the great fatsby how like how like how much they actually could have added uh, in the great fatsby was just annoying because there was so much uh, from the Great Fatsby uh, event that they could have added. Um, so that's why I did that. Well, originally I did that video after the teaser came out, but uh, and then they actually added uh, uh, Gooseus and um, what's his face? Uh, JG. But like now, like even still, I, I still think like there was loads in the Great Fatsby. In this one, there wasn't really that much. In 22 for 30, there was like a few things I would have liked to see. Like I really wanted them to add Nelson's dad in 22 for 30 because I think that would have really worked. Uh... But like in, in terms of like this one, like this event, this episode was pretty poor. I didn't like the episode anyway. I thought the episode was pretty crappy. Um, like it wasn't, it wasn't good in any way. It was, it was pretty awful and like not unbearable. But 
but close to. Like, it's not, it wasn't a good episode. It's such, so full of cliches, seen it all before. Simpsons have already done it multiple times with, with Lisa and with other characters. So I'm just, I, I just, it wasn't, I, it was just it disappointing episode and not particularly great episode time. It just seems like a random one. Feels, I feel like the only reason they did this was because of the Ed Sheeran cameo, uh, but whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. So that's everything they could have added. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, if I missed anything from the episode, please do tell me, but I think I got it all. Everything that's important anyway. Uh, and yeah, tell me your thoughts, and yeah, I'll see you next video. Goodbye.